Hey guys, Raven here reporting for Kids First. Tim Burton has done it again. Frank and Weenie is a masterpiece of a movie. It's super touching, funny, and very odd. When young and intelligent Victor Frankenstein loses his best friend Sparky unexpectedly, he will do absolutely anything to get his dog back. But when his wacky classmates find out that Victor is resurrecting the dead, things take a turn for the worse. I absolutely love Frank and Weenie. It is so touching. In fact, I almost cried twice. Not only is this film extremely touching, but it's hilarious and, like I said before, very, very odd. I just think the design of the characters in Victor's class are so odd and creepy that every time I saw them I just burst out laughing and I also got the chills. I really enjoyed the visuals of this film because it is a stop motion film and all of the characters have bags under their eyes and slouch a little bit and it gives them a very scary feel. The fact that this film was shown in black and white makes it all the more frightening. There was this one character named Weird Girl who had these massive eyes and every time I saw her, even if the scene wasn't very funny, I would burst out laughing because she just looked so ridiculous. I really enjoyed all of the main characters equally because they all have very different and wacky personalities and they work very well together. But one character that I do really really like is Victor because he is so determined to bring his dog Sparky back and even though he doesn't have many friends he still seems like a pretty happy kid which I admire. I also loved Edgar Igor and I'm pretty sure he's just the young Igor because he has the funniest face and the creepiest hands and every time I saw him I burst out laughing and got the chills at the same time. I also really liked Weird Girl because she has this perfect little white cat named Mr. Whiskers and he has the same big eyes as her and the two of them make a strangely funny duo. And last but not least, I absolutely loved the evil hamster Colossus. Even though he was only in the film for about 10 minutes and he didn't speak at all, I still thought he was very funny. Frank and Weenie also teaches us some wonderful messages. When Victor brings back Sparky, it works perfectly fine because he does it with the best of intentions. But when his classmates start resurrecting other animals, it goes horribly wrong because their intentions are only to win the science fair and their projects end up turning out evil. This message tells us that when we're doing something, we have to do it with the best intentions if we want it to work out. I don't think personally I have a favorite scene only because I really, really loved the entire movie and I would absolutely give Frank and Weenie 5 out of 5 stars without a doubt. I would give it more if I could, but let's just say I give it 5. But when it comes to the age range, I am a little bit stumped. Some parts of this movie were perfect for all ages and others were rather disturbing, especially towards the end of the movie, me, my brother, and even my dad got really disturbed and kind of creeped out. So I mean I guess I would say that this movie is good for ages 10 and up unless a child ages 10 and younger has seen another movie that may be a bit mature for them or creepy in a sense. Overall, Frank and Weenie is a must-see movie and it's just in time for Halloween, so be sure to get your friends and family and go check out Frank and Weenie. But remember, don't get too spooked. Thanks for watching. See ya!